So I wanted to discuss with you guys today how Chinese noodle beans taste. We have a difference of opinion in our house in regards to Chinese noodle beans. My six-year-old loves them. My four-year-old loves them. They'll eat them fresh as a snack. They will eat them with dinner. They will eat them however you cook them. They're fine. My husband doesn't like them. He will eat them as a side dish with dinner if I cook it really well, but he does not want to eat them fresh. He does not like these, so he's a pretty good sport about eating things that he doesn't really want to eat. They don't taste bad, they're just very different from traditional green beans. So, And I have a tendency to ride that middle line. I'm not going to take a Chinese noodle bean and eat it fresh dipped in ranch. I will eat it if it is cooked on the stove or if it has been canned and then cooked. So I'm going to show you guys later how we cook Chinese noodle beans and how we make them so that even your husband will eat them. I wanna mention a couple of other things. Chinese noodle beans grow really, really, really fast. So we can harvest Chinese noodle beans just about every day, at most every other day. So if you can harvest this many noodle beans off of a trellis in just a day, it's something that can feed your family frequently or that you can put a lot of up in the pantry to have over the winter and until your next growing season. So this is a food that I would recommend growing if you one, have a big family, two, like the flavor, and three, are trying to put food up for your family. What's up guys? So it's actually a couple of days later and I told myself when I came out to water the garden, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna shoot anything. I'm just gonna focus on watering and then going inside. But since it's two days later, I wanted to give you an example of what the noodle beans look like. So you would have that in reference because I said you can harvest noodle beans every day or every other day. And I know that sounds like a lot. You're like, whoa, you can harvest that many? Are you sure? Are you exaggerating a little? So I wanted to show you the trellis since we didn't actually harvest yesterday and we shot the, the pff, words <laughs> and we shot the video the day before that. So check it out. You all see the amount of noodle beans that are on this trellis and this is just the front side. So when I said you could harvest them every day, every other day, I was not exaggerating, y'all. Look, try not to get distracted, but my zinnia opened, yay. So there you go. Now this is about the size that you are going to want to go ahead and harvest Chinese noodle beans. This is, I don't know, a foot to 18 inches probably, but the, I wouldn't go off of the length. I would go off of how thick this wall is right here because if it starts to get too, Poofy, it's going to be producing seeds. So let me give you an example. I have left these noodle beans here on purpose because this wall started to poof out. And I'm, you can see the difference between this and this. It's gotten a lot redder, it's a lot poofier, it's separated, and there are hard beans in here. And all you have to do to save these seeds is just let this stay on the vine. It'll poof up, it'll dry out. Then you can go ahead and pull it apart. You can dry the seeds for a couple of days and bada bing bada boom, you have noodle beans for next year for your trellis. And it's worth mentioning that on this trellis over here, we only have, gosh, I think it was six beans planted. Six beans planted and all of this food is growing. Common pests for noodle beans are these guys right there and ants, ants love noodle beans. So I'm gonna kill these real quick and then we'll get back to it. All right, so now we're gonna get started on that Chinese noodle bean recipe I was telling you all about. And the first thing you're gonna need is a decently sized pot if you're making food for yourself and your family or something like my family. So, your normal pot. We're gonna turn that on medium high. All right, so we're gonna take our bowl of Chinese noodle beans and I'm actually gonna weigh this really quickly just to see what our noodle bean total came out to and then we're gonna throw a good bit of this into the pot. And so today alone, we harvested one pound, 5.4 ounces of Chinese noodle beans. So we just went ahead and we dumped all of these noodle beans in here. I'm gonna add several cups of water. 
and by several I mean two. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our seasonings in here. So we're going to get garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, smoked paprika. And I'm really excited, but this is that green onion powder that I was telling you all about. All right, so if I had to go ahead and give this recipe a name, I'd probably go with garlic, honey, Chinese noodle beans. We added our seasonings. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this come up to about a boil. I'm gonna stir it all together and I'm gonna let it simmer down. So basically all the water has evaporated. So I'm not gonna lie to you, this pot already smells amazing. It's this combination of seasonings. We put this on almost everything. Not everything, but a lot of things. That combination of garlic, onion, paprika, salt, and pepper, it's our go-to seasoning blend. It smells wonderful. And when you have the smoked paprika, huh. So the next thing on my gardening to-do list is to figure out what chili pepper paprika is and grow our own and then smoke it. grab some chicken that I pressure can that's in the pantry mostly because I forgot to get something else out for dinner and I'm in the process currently of dehydrating all of the meat that we have in our um, our deep chest freezer and our extra refrigerator okay. so that way we can have extra storage so that's what we're gonna do so I'm gonna grab these two cans of chicken that we pressure canned and we are going to make, I think we're gonna do barbecue chicken because I have barbecue sauce. I have the pressurized chicken that we canned. So we'll have barbecue chicken, Chinese noodle beans, and a salad. All right, y'all, it was great hanging out with you today. I hope you enjoyed watching us put the food from our farm onto our table. I hope that you learned something and I'll see you next time. I'm Natasha and this is Shepherding Pepper's Farm.